uh, then going to the most overrated, uh, flipping the page on that one, most overrated, worst value signing. It's a guy, like I said at the beginning, where it I, I was trying to, I was thinking about this. I'm like, oh, this is like Alex and Chase Young, where Chase Young is, he while overrated, he is still a fantastic talent. There's a difference. He's not bad. He's he he's a solid player, but you can be good and be overrated. That that's the thing. That's the thing that people need to think about. But here, Alex, the most overrated son, and while he's still a fantastic player, I'm not trying to downplay his impact on the game defensively. But JJ Watt to Arizona is the most overrated and worst value signing of free agency thus far. And I would much rather have signed Yank and Gakwe, guy that plays the same position, who got $2 million less on his deal. The Raiders had the better deal. While J.J. Watt, fantastic locker room leader, fantastic guy on the field, fantastic guy for the community. He's played just eight games a season over the last five years. And you sign him to $28 million, and you sign him for 23 guaranteed when he's clearly on the, the downhill of his career. I like the move, but I don't understand it financially. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Let's just say J.J. Watt is way past his prime. Um, getting anything up north of $10 million a year for J.J. Watt is atrocious. Um, uh, if, I, if, if you didn't steal J.J. Watt already, I would have picked him. But I'm going <laughs> to go to a different guy. And, and almost, uh, you know, almost a reverse of this situation – um, there, there's a guy that had a great year in 2020, fantastic year. He was a top five pick mm. a couple years ago, mm-hmm. still on his rookie deal. Great 2020, almost a breakout year. Goes to a team that is known for these big, splashy free agency moves, and a lot of them don't work out. And I'm talking about the New York Jets, and I'm talking about Corey Davis. And I'm talking about the second worst signing of the 2021 free agency so far. Corey Davis, three years for $38 million, is horrible. Corey money. Davis is the most overrated receiver in the NFL right now. If you look at his stats, if you look at his game logs, he has a couple big plays every so often. And he had a great 2020 because A.J. Brown was banged up. And, Matt, and Ryan Tannehill was one of the most efficient quarterbacks in the NFL. He will never be as good as he was in 2020. You can timestamp that if I'm wrong, that is totally on me, but I see no way that he is better in 2021. He was in such a great situation with Tennessee. He was already, you know, written off. He was already just like playing with house money because Corey Davis is a dead asset after they didn't pick up, after they didn't extend him after the four years. So he's now going to go to the Jets with expectations. Um, with no other number one wide receiver on that roster. He's going to have to come in and try to be that number one receiver. He's going to get the best corner every single week, and he's not going to be able to perform. He doesn't have anyone to throw to him. It's just, this is just a hor- I have no idea why they made this move. No idea. It makes no sense. They needed a receiver, but you didn't need to get the most overpriced free, or free agent receiver in in, uh, in in 2021. So I, I, I don't get it at all. But, yeah, just, just to sum up, Alex, you're paying a wide receiver two wide receiver one money and that's just something on a bad team on on the team that doesn't have a quarterback thank god it is it's the broncos family there's rumors going on that they're going the broncos are going to trade tim patrick and a second rounder for sam darnold there is a rumor and that was going to be one of the worst trades in history thank god it was false thank god because i think i would throw myself out this window